and I know a lot of people are like, where do I go for good quality essential oils until Essential Depot gets the essential oil that I want back on the shelf. And so I have been purchasing um, Pennyroll essential oil from New Directions Aromatics for ages. And um, so um, this is where I decided to go for the few things that I needed that Essential Depot was not offering at the moment. Um, and so I thought I would show you my order. If I could get it. And of course, this is not a Green Life company, so we're gonna have plastic uh, padding. Um, so the first thing we've got to do is pull that out. I always recycle it. I always hate though the way they tape that up because I can. It's very hard to recycle this because of the way they re, the way they type it up or tape it up, not type it up. Um, but I will recycle um, this plastic and not throw it away into the dumps of America. Okay. Um, no free samples or anything with this company. I've never received one. And I just cut the head off. I'll show you that on the next one. Let me show you what I've ordered. No, it's impossible. I have geranium. And Citronella, I gotta make bar number 12. Texas this time. Um, uh, Central Depot always offers, I think, the Texas. They don't specify, or I have not noticed a specification on the species of cedarwood that they offer, but it's always had that Texas smell. And I think the Texas smell kills the bugs. I know there's one cedarwood named Atlas or something. Um, it don't kill the bugs. Or award them either. It's it don't even. It's great for perfume. It's wonderful for perfume, but it does not. I'm gonna repeat. Not <laughs> uh, ward away the bugs. Grapefruit, pink. And we gotta have us some grapefruit. We have a lot of grapefruit lovers. You can't use grapefruit in hot processed soap. And it's hard to make it stick in cold processed soap. So never make just grapefruit. Use it as an enhancer, and in my opinion, put more than you want when you're smelling because uh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't move over. And lavadin. I cannot do without lavadin any longer for my bar number 10 and for the sniffer that we sell here and soon we'll be selling on our website. So that is the wonderful essential oils that I did. Even with their plastic, that one's got a big old dent on it, but it does seem to be okay. 
And even when you get a leak in these metal containers, it'll be so microscopic. I mean, it'll look like a lot because the stuff just goes, just a few drops and it'll spread like wildfire and fly, wet wire, wildfire. <laughs> and look like you've uh, lost an ounce or something, but you've not. And I think they always stick a little extra in these things. Um, to uh, ensure that uh, you, uh, if you do have a little leak, you don't lose the amount you ordered. Oh, Lavadin. It's not quite as potent as Essential Depots when it comes to the nose, the camphor, but it will work. And that's what it counts. And this is our grapefruit pink. I could have swore I ordered, oh, natural blend, that's right. Uh, And put the lid back on it, Kimberly. And so, mm, I can smell the white and the pink in here. Uh, so this is a combination of white and pink. I thought, well, you know, it's more well-rounded. Uh, so I, I got the blend. I don't know, I'm not used to having these kind of choices. You know, you want grapefruit, you order grapefruit, you get grapefruit. So, but they, they have all these choices. Cedarwood, Texas. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this. I, I think it smells like gun smoke. You know, like the West. Like being on a horse and you're smelling the leather of the horse and the dust and the sand around you in Texas. <laughs> it smells good and it wards them bugs away from you. Bar number 11, here we come. I tell you, I ran slap out of bar number 11. I just got desperate. I had to order. This is my second time to order the cedar wood from them. Um, citronella. Ah, the bugs will not love me no more. All the way home, they'll be running. <laughs> and that's our bar number 12, cedarwood and tea tree. Geranium. Now, I'm very curious about this geranium. Hang on. This is my geranium essential oil from Essential Depot. We're going to give them the taste. No, the smell test. Yeah. It's nowhere near as potent. It's weak as water compared to this. Ah, oh, very floral, very bouquet, very not hurt your nose. I'm gonna give this a slosh. I'm helping it, okay? Very weak. Matter of fact, I'm very disappointed with this. This is Egyptian geranium. And, uh, it smells like an aluminum can, so I may return that or attempt to do so if they'll let me because uh, I'm, I'm not satisfied with that at all. So don't buy geranium from them. Not the Egyptian one anyway. Uh, I don't know if it's the species, but it don't even smell like a rose or a flower. So. I'm a little bit dissatisfied with that. I will be calling them about that and seeing if I can return that. Um, anyway, I've never got an essential depot, essential oil, that I didn't go, mmm, yummy. But these are great. The grapefruit is nice. The lavadin is nice. Um, the cedarwood is awesome. 
and the citronella is great. So those are four and their penny royal that I would trust for you to get there for the meantime. Don't buy the geranium. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching my link, I mean, watching my commercials. And thank you so much for going to www.kimberlymagnet.com. K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y, Kimberly McNutt, M-C-N-U-T-T, dot com. And that right there will um, get you to uh, my website for helper, help for soapers. There's free soaping recipes on there. Plus, if, like, if you click on making salt, it's like salt bars, uh, there's me showing you how to do it. Um, if you're wanting to learn to make soap from scratch, make sure you say, look at the links like how to make it for the first time or making soap from scratch uh, so that you see it from A to Z. Yes, those are long videos because we are doing it from A to Z. Okay, so there you go. Thanks everybody and thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for hitting the like button. Awesome.